was the top of the house and above us the church itself. Now these were torn down primarily due to one factor. A process that occurred during the reign of King Henry VIII. Now can anyone tell me what that was? Yes. The Reformation indeed and more particularly The dissolution of the monasteries, indeed. During the reformation of the Church of England, King Henry VIII decided that the religious houses were corrupt, that they were sinful, and so he dissolved them. He evicted the monks and he sold or gave away the land. Obviously, this was because of their sinful activities and nothing to do with the fact they were very rich and he was running a bit short on cash. The Battle Abbey was no different. It was given to Sir Anthony Brown, Henry's master of horse. And Anthony called for many of these buildings to be torn down. But he was to be grievously punished for this action. For not long after taking possession of the Abbey, he was having a party, an Abbey warming, if you will. Outside, the wind was blowing, the rain was falling, but inside they had fire, wine, roasted meats. Suddenly the door burst open. Standing in the frame was the wind-beaten figure of a monk in tattered robes. He stood forward to Sir Anthony Brown and said, I curse you. I curse you with fire, with blood, with plague. From that day, many who have dwelt here have had untimely ends. Indeed, a number of years ago, when the building was, as it is today, a school, a fire erupted in the middle of the night. No one can explain to this day why the fire started or why it spread so quickly. Thankfully, no one was injured. But so dangerous was the curse still thought to be some 20 years ago. So dangerous was the curse that the Archbishop of Canterbury was called. He came to the site and he blessed it, finally removing the curse of Sir Anthony Brown. And now, my friends, to the most sacred part.